Hello, welcome to the video. So this video is not sponsored, but we were sent a bike for free by a company called Himiwe to try out. So my opinion is going to be completely my own. I don't have to say anything about this bike. Um, so I'm just trying it out, see what it's like, and I'll let you know. The bike that they've sent is the all-terrain step-through cruiser electric bike. And I've never had an electric bike before, so this is going to be interesting. If you're a shorty like me, 5'3", this bike is for people 5'1 to 6'5". I've got the seat as, <laughs> as low as it'll go because um, any taller and my toes don't touch the ground. So I'm going to show you the video of me putting the bike together, um, taking out the box. It's not a huge amount of assembly. But if you're anything like me and you don't really know many bike, bicycle terminology words, then you're probably better doing what I did <laughs> after struggling for a moment and watch Himiwe's videos on YouTube because they are very easy to follow and <laughs> that saved me so much hassle putting um, certain things together when I didn't know what the words meant. But the instructions are all there, if you know bike terms then you can probably do it from the instruction manual. I only understood some of the things from having a bicycle with quick release wheels, so I understood those terms, but everything else just did not understand. You weren't any happy either, were you? You were inside napping. Got some accessories. free cap in here. Okay, we've got bits. There aren't very many pictures. <laughs> pictures help me. So, insert the handlebars. Remove four screws. Ew, is this what a centipede? Gross. I'll put my mouth to adjust. Oh god, no. <laughs> I might need to um why does my hair look weird about that? I might need <laughs> I might need to uh readjust the position of the handlebars once I get the camera's going. Yeah. This camera is always trying to fall off things. Um once I've assembled the whole thing I might need to adjust the handle position depending on helpful around I want the um, break. <laughs> it's been a while. I guess it goes on that. Maybe. I think it goes on this screw here. Yes, it's got to open the quick screw. Ah, oh, it does have quick release, so that's cool. Carefully lower the fork and ensure the brake rotor goes into the caliper. <laughs> Start at the beginning. Open the quick screw and remove the thumb nut and cone spring. What's the brake rotor set? I don't know what the brake rotor set. Hang on, it might be explained in here. I think he is singing. Can he sing things? No, that doesn't explain what a brake rotor set. I don't know what these things are. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with this. And what is this plastic thing? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh dear. Probably should have watched an instructional video. I've got to do something over here. Install the front wheel. Remove the plastic axle guard from the front wheel, being sure not to touch the brake rotor set. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Open the quick screwer and remove the thumb nut and cone spring. Where is that? Is that on here or is that on here? This is it. This is the... <laughs> I only know this because this is on my bike, which has a quick release. Okay, making sense. So I've got to do this. But this thing is still on. He hasn't told me to remove that yet. Got it. <sighs> I got it moving. Okay. So yeah, this is the battery here. And then there's a key to put in here to take the battery off. It just slides off sideways. Um, and yeah, this is the power button. And you just hold it down to turn it on and off. I don't know what these do. I 
to find that out. Let's <laughs> see. So, the lights installed and plugged in here. Yeah. One of these do the light. That looks like a light button, doesn't it? Let's try it. So power on. Light. Yep. Should I do the back one? Yep. <laughs> Lights work. And then I don't know what the I is or the up and down. Uh -oh. That did a that did whatever that is. <laughs> Maybe speed. Um not sure what that button is, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> but yeah, the only thing is I'm missing a screw. Um, to attach this down here, this is meant to go on here for the fender, I think this is the fender <laughs> um, I only had one attached on the other side and not one down here so I can't really ride it because it's going to be rattling around and get stuck in this it needs to be attached there and there's no spare screw for that which is a shame because it's actually a nice day today and um, we're looking forward to more rain coming. It was attached already on the fork, it was just loose there. But there wasn't one on this side for some reason. So there's cool little attachment points for things, so I can get a little water bottle holder there, which would be quite good. Me being so short, <laughs> I've had to leave the seat on the lowest point because I only just managed to touch the ground <laughs> with it um, that low down. It didn't come with any cable ties, but it did say to cable tie the wire to the rack. This wire cable tied into these bits, and there's similar ones on the rack. So that's what you need to cable tie to. But I've only got green cable ties for gardening, so I don't want to use green ones. I'll have to buy some little black ones, because they didn't come with any. And I can't have that flapping about whilst trying to ride as well. I don't want to get caught in anything. So, yeah. Need a screw and some cable ties, and then I can go for a ride. So it is quite a big bike, it's bigger than I was expecting it to be, and it is pretty heavy with the battery installed. And I was concerned about that, thinking that I'm quite a small person and we're going to be able to cope with this. Um, I was a bit nervous to start riding it, and then the first time I got on it, um, it felt very strange because I'm not used to a motored bicycle. Uh, I don't even have a motored scooter. I have a meant to be a husky powered scooter but he doesn't power it so it's just a me powered scooter. I wasn't used to so when you do one rotation of the wheels then the motor kicks in and then you're going and it was a bit bit strange to start with. So you'll see me doing a lot of um, making a lot of uh, surprise sounds <laughs> as I'm just basically pedaling around in a circle just to get used to it. Very very weird. I'm fear for my life right now. No, you'll be fine. If you fall off, just fall on your head because that's where you've got a helmet. <laughs> so maybe pedal, then put the go on. Very weird. Where are you going? I wondered if you were coming back. <laughs> what are you doing on the pavement? Why not? It's got such beams. It does. The last time I rode my bicycle. He was probably still a puppy and the main reason is where we live there are so many hills they're just it's just up and down and up and down and they're not they're not small hills they're steep hills so i was really excited when Hemingway contacted me because an electric bike 
would make a world of difference to these hills and it has <laughs> so there's gonna be footage of me actually taking it up a huge hill that i don't even like to walk up but we've walked it many many times and the bike just it got up there so easily it's so good the the size of it the weight of it it was fine when i was on the way up the hill i forgot to put my exercise um, on my watch on so i stopped halfway up the hill and if it had been a normal bicycle and even that bicycle i couldn't get that first rotation <laughs> to get the motor to kick in but the throttle that started it for me so i could get going up this hill because otherwise there's no way I would have been able to start cycling up that hill without the momentum of going from the bottom. bunny. How cute. The bike has fat tyres, I guess you pronounce them that way, um, and they are fat. They're four inch thick tyres and they are so good for off-roading because I took them the bike along the lanes um, and those lanes I've ridden on a normal bicycle and it's so bumpy but the the tires and the suspension of the step through cruiser all terrain <laughs> definitely all terrain it was so so good and comfortable and i've got a pretty bony bum i don't have a lot of meat on my bum so bike seats uh, generally have always left me feeling a bit bruised <laughs> but this one was really comfortable i was really surprised that i didn't hurt my bum for riding it <laughs> especially going over all the bumps Bugs. Don't want a snack on the ride. Ugh, bugs. Oh, great. Uh, that looks so muddy. <laughs> Do I want to go through that? Oh, I don't want to get my nice clean bike filthy. My nice white bike. This is the only bit muddy now. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, I love my bike. So good. I love how easy it is to just change gears when you need to change uh, speed. <laughs> this is definitely an off-road bike. It's so good. Suspension is amazing. in my face. Did those hills like nothing? It actually makes me want to ride my bike more, which is amazing because I used to love riding my bike. If it wasn't for the weather, we've been battling so much rain so much wind it's been crazy the amount of rain we've had recently um i've been trying to film this video <laughs> for the past month because it's just been the weather's just been all over the place trying to get it done and we do have an affiliate link so if you click the link in the description or in the pinned comment um we will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you 
but we get a little something for sending you over to get a bike. Um, and also you get a £50 discount with our discount code, which is Jody and Key, all capitals. Um, and that'll also be in the description and in the pinned comment, so you can get £50 off. I don't know, it should probably convert to other currencies. I'm not sure exactly if it'll be $50 or if there'll be conversion on that. Um, but I know that it's £50. It's an amazing bike. I really, really recommend it, definitely. I've never been as excited to receive a product before. <laughs> it's such a good bike. I just love it. What do you think? You think you should come too, don't you? What? You gonna boot me? What? You are gonna boot me. You missed though. You missed the boot. You missed my nose. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fluff on my nose now. What big one for fluff? Where did that come from? You've got triple on your eyebrow. You've got triple on your eyebrow, Key. You know you've been rained on. You can sneak outside without me. Hey, You've hidden my bike so I can't go off without you. Are you sure? Do you think I should take you? <laughs> should I take you for a bike ride? I could try. Now that I'm a bit more used to driving in it. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was very wet. I could try and take you for a bike ride. Would you like that? Yeah. We have done it before. A long time ago. Went for a bike ride, do you remember? Do you remember? Went for a bike ride with a normal bike. There's so much more work for me. <laughs> it keeps moving me. So we could try and... We could try and take the bike out, the electric bike, and go for a bike ride together. Should we try that? Yeah? You would like that, would you? Yeah? You would. Oh! <laughs> you look so tall when you sit up like that. You're taller than me. Okay. Sit up then. Are you taller than me? Is he taller than me? Oh, thank you. Well, if it wasn't for the ears. Don't forget to check out the bike. It's definitely worth a look at. If you're looking at getting a bike, I would recommend this Himiway Step Through Cruiser because it's so fun. What are you doing? Key, what are you doing? Thank you. I would never make a video about a product that I didn't think was good and I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't think this was worth the money and I genuinely do. When I was first riding it around in circles, um, I didn't go above two miles per hour. Two? No, two. I didn't go above two on the speed thing. But when I was going up the hill, I think I went as high as five, and that was enough to get me going up the hill. But you can turn it all the way down to zero if you really wanted to have no assist and really make your legs work like a normal bicycle. It is really, really good. I can't say that enough. <laughs> can't say how, how much I love that bike. I'm going to try and get him out on the bike with me. Um, it's just finding somewhere safely to do that. Um, thanks for that, burpy boy. Hope the camera picked that up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do go check out the bike. If you're thinking about getting a bike, definitely look at them and go through the affiliate link so that we can get a small commission at no extra cost to you and use our discount code Jody and Key for £50 off um, and enjoy your bike because I know you will. Can you say thanks for watching? Oh that was my eye! That was a boop to the eyeball Key! It was so wet! It was so wet! Are you sorry? For stabbing me in the eye with your nose! Hey, Are you sorry? Key? My eye's still wet! Can you say sorry? <laughs> hey, can you say? That's you. Picture of you, you can't see it on the camera or anything. Can you say goodbye? Go and say goodbye to the camera. You don't need to get close to it. Look up. Come here then. You can uh, <laughs> Come here then. Key. Okay. I need to go clean my face off. Just a little shower. Come here. That's your butt again, what's your butt doing? I've got your fluff all over my face, I've got your nose juice in my eyeball. Here, come here. Thank you. Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye to the camera. Oh.
Okay, that's a good one. Oh, that's my eye. My eye is so wet. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching. Okay, you can finish that off. Oh, my spine just went. 